Last night I went to my eight son's house for dinner. They have two beautiful daughters. They are seven and five. Their names are Missy and Liv. Now Liv has a disability, but I do not know the name of it. Her brain isn't together all the way. She can't walk or talk. The thing that impressed me the most was how Macy interacted with Liv. When I got there, she gave me a high five when I was still by the van. Who would do that when they are seven years old and never saw me before? She played with Liv. She was asking me questions all night. My own cousins who know me their entire life don't do that. They give me a high five when they are told to by their parents. Ask me a question that's not existing totally. To get questions from Missy was refreshing even though they were funny. What do you expect from a seven years old girl? It was cute. I was watching Liv the whole evening. You can tell that she is smart. She was scared when I had my head pointer on. Who's this here house? Get him away, Dad. The thing that got me confused was when we had ice cream and cake. Liv was pointing to the ice cream, and her dad was trying to give it to her. She was pushing it away. It felt kind of odd seeing her pointing to something that she wanted, but it might have been the wrong thing that she wanted. I felt her frustration. It was kind of nice being on the other side trying to figure out what she wanted. The parents reminded me of my parents a lot. When my dad was home from work, he took care of me and mom assisted him. That is what parents did yesterday. Liv has to be fed with a G-tube. The mom filed the thing up with food and dad fed Liv. Many dads with kids with disabilities sometimes don't want to take care of their child. It is kind of sad seeing that because they supposed to take care of their kids not let them on to do all the work. Liv's mom is having a baby in July. I find it amazing because both daughters had a problem with their livers. They both had transplants. These days parents say one child is enough, but they don't realize that a baby is a gift from God. Last night was fun and good thing to experience even though I was an alien from outer space. I will see you on Monday with a new video. Remember the online course to learn about personal care assistance is still on sale. Please watch the first two lectures for free. It is Chris signing off.